Hello and welcome to Infinity. I've been marketed at for quite some time about Luminar AI, um, and you might have as well. And I, in the end, I gave in and I got a copy. And so this is my look at it. Uh, in doing so, I'm looking for it as a plugin to Affinity Photo and looking for things that it does better or new stuff and, and so on. So this is fairly critical, but I hope it's fair. So to install it, you simply go to Edit, Preferences, go to Photoshop Plugins, click on the Add here, and as I've done there, you just navigate to the program. It's the program file, Skylum, Luminar AI is the default. You would then may need to reboot the program to see it again, but then you get it. Then we go to Filters, Plugins, Skylum and Luminar AI. And then you wait. It takes quite a while to load. You might get this Affinity Photo not responding coming up. Um, I've got a fast processor, got an Intel i9 um, that clocked at some enormous speed with loads and loads of RAM and stuff like that. And it still takes longer than most things, but you just have to be patient because it will turn up. There it is. But it does mean I would, taking that long, I wouldn't go, oh, let's just quickly drop into it and then quickly drop back. I think, oh, anyway. So when we start up, what do you see here? You've got two things up here. You've got templates and edit. We look at templates first. Uh, and out here you've got cancel and apply. Click apply. It'll apply the latest effect you've got. Cancel will drop you back with the original image. You need to start off, by the way, with selecting a pixel layer that you can send over. And also it does need to be 8-bit. I tried it with 16-bit and it didn't like it. Then here for this, you've got some recommended things here. So it's got a little sideways one, waterscapes. It's recognised that there's water there. It's seen buildings. So it tries to be clever in recommending things for you. Then there are a number of other ones down here that you can give to it. And it's got a landscape one. Let's see what it does there. So I click on the see all to landscape and you get four things here. But you click on one of these and you get a bunch more. So there's quite a lot of the templates available. And you then can click on individual ones of these and see what it does. And sometimes it's good and sometimes it's rather alarming. And if you click on, oh, it's overcast. Let's try an overcast one. And it'll try different things here. And if you like them, that's great. It's very one quick stuff. If you don't, then you can do other things. But you can also, if you go down to these three little dots here, by the way, this slider here is a sort of a, you know, it, it's a, a, an opacity effectively on this. Then you click on those three dots there, reset adjustments, and it'll drop you back to your original picture. So you don't worry if you've got somewhere going, how do I get out of this? So that's the template. Next is the edit. The edit, there's a whole bunch of personas. So you've got essential one here, which is this one. Then you've got creative, you've got portrait, and you've got pro. Goodness. So, the others are not pro, are they? Mm. Okay. In these here, you've got these very quickly. Erase is very similar to the in painting. It just gets rid of something. So that's okay but you don't need it. Light, all these kinds of things. You've also got these extra things at the bottom which kind of pop up here. So for example curves like this and when, when you do something like this then you know you can play around with it and if you double click any of those dots but you've got the curves and stuff like that already so I don't need that. Click on the top. It's quite easy to use, by the way, which is fair enough. Enhance. What's that? It's got a little AI next to it. Ooh, is, this, is this a clever one? 
So let's turn up the accent. And you know, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. I have to turn it fair way up to get something here, but you get what it does to everything. You don't get it just doing something. So this is a little bit of a white burn up here. So can I actually paint that away? So there is up here a brush. So I click on the brush there. And with a brush that I got a gradient radial so I can apply that in blobs around the place or a paint. So if I take click on the paint, then I've got the controls here. But if I, can I paint that up here? Or is that going to... No, it's just going to apply it up there. I'd have to paint it elsewhere. So how do I undo? Control Z. There we go. That's got that out of there. So let's try that again. I take click on the paint mask. I'll increase the radius. And just apply this here. So around the picture. Notice in here, by the way, this is OK. So I've done that. So now it's it's left the sky alone. It's done it in this area. What it you haven't got in here, by the way, is a selection. So I can't select that edge. I can't refine the edge. I just have got a soft edge. That's all I've got, which I think is a I, I think that's a pretty bad omission. I don't know why they did that. So but then I, I can turn this up and down. See, and this get this effect is just where I've painted it. And I can also play with these other controls with this here. So I'm just going to reset that for the moment and just try the sky enhancer. Well, it knows the sky, but it just brings back a bit of the sky. That's all right. It's not nothing spectacular. Structure. This is just like tone mapping in Affinity, so there's nothing special that I can see. Color. Saturation, vibrance. HSL, yeah, but they again, it's what we've got already, so it doesn't not special details, sharpening and so on, denoise, same as before, landscape, what's that? Oh, it's dehaze, golden hour. This is like just a uh, putting our a lens on it. Foliage enhancer uh, makes the greens green. Advanced settings, foliage hue. That's not exciting. Vignette. Uh, you can choose where you kind of put it and but again it's it's nothing spectacular. You've got advanced settings here, so you can do a bit more things with it. But it's okay. Doesn't excite me. Creative. Now this is there's a couple of interesting things here. This is the amazing one. This is I really like this, which is the sky. So if I do a sky selection here. And I can do all sorts of things. I do a dramatic sunset here. Look at that. It has figured out where the sky is and done a really good selection job around there. And I can do various things with this. Move things out, put the horizon in the wrong position, but I can play around with this. It's got horizon, you know, so that's up and down, but it can't do it left and right, which is a bit annoying. But there you go. You can also put your own pictures in. So I got a one here which I got a lightning bolt on it and I can play around with this and so on. Uh, also notice when I've done that sky here this is is fitting it as well so this is darkening so I've darkened down here. This is quite clever stuff. So if I undo that see it lightens the whole picture so it takes the sky and then changes the foreground to match it. That's nice. That's really nice. Advanced settings here there's a whole bunch of other things to play with. But the sky is good. That's a very, very good feature. Very clever. Augmented sky. Object selection. What have I got down here? So, for example, I've got balloon. And I can put in a balloon here. And if I do place object, then I get a square around it. I can move it around the place. I can rotate it. I can change the size of it. And so on and see the way it, it knows it's in the sky there so it puts it behind things it does that sky selection really really well slightly annoying thing about this is if i say okay let's put some birds in it puts birds in very good but i've lost this you seem to be able to do just one thing i can't see where you say let's have several of these at once 
so you know maybe you get it if you went in and out in and out type thing and, but that's a, a bit disappointing really again I can go down here reset adjustments and I start back from the beginning sun rays is good if I click on this place the sun center I get a blob I can put that say yep by hand the trees there and if I turn up the amount look what I'm getting I get some sun rays coming through and it's quite a nice one of it and you can there's got another other controls you can do with this sun rays length is good you can play around with the sun radius you'll see a lot of good controls here ray settings even warmth you can make the sun and the sun rays warmer individually that's a really nice one i like that one as well so sun rays the sky those are the good ones okay let's just reset those what else now we've got things like dramatic what does dramatic do just kind of like tone mapping stuff and exciting mood i see this is lut's gain affinity does lut's toning how do you know highlights and shadows and balance play up yeah gain Matt is is you know you can do that not a problem and the other thing is mystical yeah you know, what's mystical and all it is is a kind of glow again nothing spectacular um the the portrait stuff is good this isn't a you know, portrait here but that does all sorts of things with and it, it's stuff you could already do but it does it quickly and nicely and easily and quite accurately so that is good and the pro stuff it's just things like defringing and stuff color harmony brilliance warmth etc just um, dodge and burn a bit and clone stuff but again the any of that local stuff I would do normally myself and this year local masking this is like the stuff you've got in the develop persona so if I click add to one here I can have basic or texture and the basic is just these things that you can control and then you can paint them on or use a thing so you can put in blobs and things but it's it's not that exciting so overall there you go that's a very quick overview of it it's easy to use a lot of the things you don't need if you're doing it as a plugin because you've got them there. Selection and edge, even just edge awareness, is a, a huge omission. Um, makes local effects very fuzzy. Overall, the enhance is pretty good for a quickie. The sky is brilliant. The sun rays is really good as well and the general portrait things if you want to do that kind of thing then that works really well as well and when you've finished apply to accept or cancel just to drop out and then you go back to affinity photo anyway that's it and thank you very much for watching